Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. This is Jackass Retro, and my name is Matt, and we're back from vacation uh, with what will now be a twice a week what sold video. Uh, had a pretty good one, um, good few days. So uh, we're going to be covering from sales from the 22nd up through today, which uh, date of recording is the 26th of September. So a little more than four days. We sold 32 cards in that time frame uh, for a total of $405. Uh, that is amazing. That's over $12 average a card with shipping on top of that was definitely helped along by uh, a few set different purchases, which you'll see in just a moment. Uh, a couple of things. There are some links down below for some upcoming postcard shows. Uh, definitely go check those out if you are in those areas. Um, one, I believe, coming up in uh, Texas as well as California. So check out those links below. Uh, there's also down there some other ways you can support the channel, as well as some links to uh, supplies and materials that I use for shipping. And, uh, you know, you can always buy me a coffee if you feel like doing so. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with our what sold. All right. So first up, this here is a just vintage chrome postcard here. Um Nothing too crazy about this. This is the, uh, let me get this pulled up here real quick. Uh, St. Louis Zoo, I believe. Uh, Forest Park Zoo in St. Louis, Missouri. Correct. Uh, nice chrome postcard. Wasn't huge money, but still happy with it nonetheless. Uh, this one sold for $1.95. It's a little grainy on this image, just I think due to some of the adjustment I had to do on uh, the color. So uh, kind of a slow start to the video, but still happy with it nonetheless. It's a seal. Next up is a pretty large purchase from a customer who came in and bought uh, quite a few postcards. So uh, they came in and bought this one first and then started sending some offers uh, on some other postcards. Um, so this one here is a uh, linen postcard for Obion County Courthouse in Union City, Tennessee. Uh, really cool, nice image of that, unposted. Uh, this one likely came from the large collection of courthouses I bought last summer. Uh, the whole collection cost $600, uh, $600 uh, but there was well over a thousand postcards in that collection and the vast majority of them were real photo. Um, so definitely happy with the $6.95 we got out of uh, this linen postcard. Kind of skipping over the, the um, next courthouses, we'll be in it in a second here, but this one sold, this was a recent pickup from Just In Time Flipping uh, over in Massachusetts. Definitely go check out that channel. Uh, $4.55 uh, plus shipping, Rotograph Company. One of the few uh, postcard publishers I'll usually put into a title if I can fit it. Um, does seem to uh, have some, uh, what of a collector base for the publisher. And then we're back into courthouses again. So this buyer bought all Tennessee courthouses and six of these um, all sold for the same price each. So he uh, was making some offers. We went back and forth a few times and settled on a flat price for the uh, five that he wanted. So um, this one here. Uh, sold for, they all sold for $30 a piece plus shipping. So we have a nice one of Haywood County Courthouse in Brownville, Texas. Polk County Courthouse in Benton, Tennessee. Pardon me. The uh, last one I said, Texas, it was Tennessee, obviously. Um, in Benton, Tennessee. This car here shows up in, I th think he's the photographer. He shows up in a lot of them. Although, if you look really closely, there's a guy wearing a hat sitting in this one. So he can't be the photographer and sit in the car. 
Here we have the Cook County Courthouse in Newport, Tennessee. Another nice street view with some cars. Kind of got a funky angle to it. I like it. Unposted as well. Here we have the uh, Westburg, Tennessee, Morgan County Courthouse. A little hard to see. It's a winter scene with some snow, which is, you know, I think probably nowadays a little unusual for Tennessee. And we have Monroe County Courthouse here in Madisonville, Tennessee. So again, the similar car there. Another real photo postcard. So he came in, he bought five, $30 a piece, plus shipping on top of that. Total purchase on those five was $150, plus the $6 on the linen card and the Hamblin County Courthouse. Now this one's got a big old sort of um, stripped piece here. Um, wasn't sure if it was part of the card or something that had like glued onto it. I didn't mess with it. I just sold it as it was at a discount for $8.46 per uh, plus shipping. So all in all, the guy's about $165 plus shipping in on five, six, seven cards, which is a fantastic sale. Next up, we're out of Tennessee and into uh, San Francisco, California with the Hotel Turpin uh, Powell at Market Streets in San Francisco. This is a white border postcard. Uh, we know because of the white border and it doesn't have the cross hatching. It's a slick card. So that's how we tell them apart. Nice car out front, little awning. Uh, not huge money, but still uh, $2.95 plus $1 shipping. Now we have the Danville Brick Company in, pardon me, the, yep, Danville Brick Company in Danville, Illinois. Uh, this is in Vermilion County. A lot of postcard sellers actually often put the, the um, county name in the postcard. And, um, you know, if you can fit it, sure. You know, any extra keyword that you might be able to squeeze in to help you sell the car, card is definitely worth doing so. So this one fit the county and I put it in there. Uh, this one here sold for $6.95 plus shipping. Now this one is very interesting. This is uh, from 1917. Uh, in fact, the week of March 22nd, uh, 1917, uh, this is the log of events happening on board the USS San Francisco. And it's actually a postcard, or it was turned into one. So it's the, I believe it's pronounced the fossil log, um, or fossil log, perhaps. Uh, but anyways, it, it details here, um, basically the uh, ship getting ready to head off to war. Um, head off to World War One. It um, goes to do some naval exercise in the South Pacific or South uh, Atlantic <clears throat> near Cuba, and uh, off it goes. So this one took a little while to sell. This came from a collection of uh, largely military postcards that I um, purchased uh, at auction about a year ago, last November, and this one here sold for fifty five ninety six plus shipping. Norway is one of my best international selling postcards, so no surprise that this one uh, sold here. This is a bird's eye view of Hailvik. I'm, I'm going to say the Osterfjorden. Hailvik Osterfjorden. Uh, the card is this dark. It's not a night view. It's just the printing process for this particular card. It was never posted. <coughs> it's got some uh, writing on it, however. Uh, this one sold for roughly about $15 plus shipping after the uh, conversion from British pounds. Went overseas. Here we have the United States Post Office, Custom House and Courthouse in Cleveland, Ohio. Nice bustling street scene. Uh, this one was is not a, a un, very common card. 
um, has some issues. As we can see, it's got some paste residue on the back there. Um, so definitely had it up at a lower price. This one I put up for $1.95 plus shipping. Somebody uh, took me up on a 10% off offer. So final price was $1.75. Got the Plaza School in Fort Scott, Kansas, with a whole bunch of kids. Look like they're ready to cause some trouble hanging out outside. Again, very common card. Um, this one here uh, only sold for $1.95 plus $1 shipping. But if you go look right now, there's a lot of them up and not a lot of them sold. Here we have uh, along the Deschutes River in Oregon. Got the uh, train steaming down here. There's the Deschutes right there. Uh, I have been on the Deschutes many, many a time. Not physically on it, but, you know, next to it. <laughs> this one here is sold for $4.95 plus shipping. <coughs> Unposted. Nice HHT. Another publisher you probably get familiar with if you're into selling postcards. Here is a linen postcard in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, with a nice Chris Craft boat here in front. I looked it up. That's how I know. It's a Chris Craft. Um, this one here, uh, because there is a collector for uh, Chris Craft items, this one here sold for $19.95 plus shipping, which is great for a linen postcard. Uh, anytime I can get 20 bucks out of a linen, I am a happy guy. Here we have the loop in the loop on the Denver and Salt Lake City Railroad on Moffett Road. Uh, I've got a few of these cards. It's not super uncommon, but it is a popular one. I've sold it before. Um, not tremendous money, but it did sell for $6.95 plus $1 shipping. We have the Steamer Valley Gem on the Muskingum River. Muskingum? Muskingum River in Zanesville, Ohio. Uh, generally speaking, steamships and <clears throat> paddle boats all do very well. Uh, this one also came from the Just in Time Shipping buy that uh, I recently picked up from him. Lithochrome. Don't get confused if you're new with calling this a chrome postcard. There are lots of postcards that say chrome on them that are not chromes. And then the message is great. Dear Mabel, Mama told me to try and write a little. Smaller, she said, the way we write in school. Now, two of my words could fill a postal card. With love to all, Gladys. Uh, apparently not important of a message to send because it was not posted. And hopefully Gladys learned to write smaller. Next two cards came, uh, went out to the same buyer. <coughs> Pardon me. The total for the two was nine twenty uh, plus shipping. So we have a nice street view in front of Harold's Club, the world's largest casino. And then we have a uh, nice street view down Virginia Street uh, with all the signs and the famous Reno, the biggest little city in the world. So between the two, very happy, $9.20 uh, plus shipping. Here we have a uh, military postcard, and I've been selling a few more military postcards recently. Uh, this is engineer replacement training in Fort Bel Belvoir, Belvoir, Belvo, Virginia. It's not Bouvier, Belvoir, Belvoir. I'm going to say Belvoir. Probably saying it wrong. You can correct me in the comments. Uh, this one here sold for seven dollars and sixteen cents plus shipping. Obviously, very patriotic. This is a uh, lot of these came out from this publisher, W.R. Thompson and Company. Uh, a lot of these are were in World War II, basically to you know drum up support for our troops. 
Next up, we've got Morley Avenue in Nogales, Arizona. Uh, this one went out on a offer to watchers uh, from 1916 divided back. It sold for $23 plus first class shipping. Got a lot going for it. I mean, it's got the car, it's a street view, it's a relatively uncommon uh, location, Nogales, Arizona. For this age, obviously it was not a big town at the time, so probably not a lot of postcards produced of it. Next up, this is uh, Exeter, Rhode Island. This is Princess Red Wing of the Seven Crescents. So Native Americana postcards, true Native Americana postcards. Uh, this one was um, actually put out by the tribe, so this is not you know, one of those postcards that's sort of made in an exploitative matter. Um, I think very cool. I couldn't find any examples when I listed this some time ago. Uh, I took an offer for this card for $24 plus shipping. Another military postcard. This is a unused piece of New England stationery. Uh, it is a postcard. Uh, World War II era. Obviously, we can tell by the stamp here. Hey, Lobster, are you watching? Look, I've got a defense stamp. I'm a millionaire. Uh, yeah, so unused for Camp Claiborne, Louisiana, in this like stationary postcard that they gave out to soldiers likely to write home. Uh, not super common to find one unused. So um, took an offer on this one for $20 plus first class shipping. Next up, we got a linen postcard. This is the powerhouse of the Great Hoover slash Boulder Dam. Obviously, newly after the uh, time when they renamed it from the Boulder to the Hoover Dam, after obviously President Herbert Hoover, 1951. We've got a nice date on it. Really cool view of the dam. Um, you don't usually see one where it just takes up the whole image, right? We don't even see the top of the dam here. Um, so $5.95 for a Hoover Dam linen postcard. I'll take it. This one um, came, I, I just bought very recently. Pretty mundane. A couple of kids sitting in some water. Uh, I went off the Spicer. I'm assuming this is Lake Spicer um, or the lake near Spicer, uh, Minnesota. Um, just from the research that I did, there's not a lot of places in the U.S. named Spicer. So um, using that information, I listed the postcard at uh, $4.95. I mean, there's nothing really that <coughs> spectacular about this one. So didn't really feel a need to price it up. Very happy. It sold quickly. Um, I purchased this from the uh, Antique Mall, um, I believe. Nope, this one actually came from the collection uh, I bought recently when I was in Colorado. Um, I uh, was able to get a pretty much untouched collection from a um, buy, uh, from somebody I met at a estate sale. So I paid $100 for around 150 cards, a little more than I want to pay, but uh, it was, you know, like I said, nobody had gotten to this collection and been able to pick through it before. And uh, because of that, I was actually able to get my first ever Halloween postcard found in the wild. So super excited about that and very happy with the $5 plus shipping I took on this card. Uh, this was also in that same collection. This is um, Kootenay Bay, British Columbia. Actually, uh, this might have been. I don't remember. Uh, Kootenay Bay, British Columbia. This is the... Uh, Fairy and scum. Uh, not a super rare uh, image or um, subject matter. There's quite a few of the, these up. Uh, they were priced pretty high. I, I really didn't think it was that valuable of a card. I put it up at $6.95 and it sold overnight uh, to a buyer in Canada who played, paid $6.95 plus uh, international shipping. We have uh, Point River View in Kingston, New York. 
this came as well from the recent purchase from Just In Time Flipping. Not huge money, but it's really a fairly unremarkable card. Not a lot here. It's even got a little damage. 1907 is the date. Um, I mean, look at this. It's a couple of rocks in the foreground. You got some distant ships over here, and then you just got this big field of green in the middle of the card. Would have been a great place to write your message, but luckily for us, the person on the back wrote it on the back. Having such a fine time, I can't wait to go home. Or I don't want to go home. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, two ninety five dollars plus shipping. Oh, we see this one sold for $3.95. Summit House at Mount Evans, 14,260 feet above the sea. I was actually not far from this recently. And um, yeah, anything Mount Evans, tops of mountains, summit houses, things like that, I, I tend to do pretty well with. They're not necessarily the biggest money. This one's got some cars in the foreground. Um, Sold for three dollars ninety five cents plus a dollar shipping. Here we have uh, life in the U.S. Army cantonment. The inspection of guns. Here's the guy, sergeant, looking at the looking at the guns, making sure they're all there and clean and ready to go. This one uh, also came from the collection I bought last uh, November. Um, a, a largely military postcard collection. Um, took a little while to sell. Obviously, this one uh, sold for $5.91 plus shipping. And then our last card uh, for the video, we have the Columbia River Longview Bridge. In uh, This is probably looking from the Longview side towards Portland, which is right over on the other side, just based on how much stuff there is. Uh, so this one here, I just took an offer a little before making this video. Uh, customer paid right away. So this one here sold for $10 even plus shipping. So that is that. Thank you all very much for watching. We're gonna be doing these twice a week moving forward. Um, hopefully keep the videos a little bit shorter, a little more engaging. We don't lose you halfway through. And um, I, uh, for those I know before I left for my trip, I said I'd do a really long one when I came back. Well, that didn't happen. I ended up having to do some other stuff. Been pretty busy since I got back. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and pretend like nothing sold. And even though lots did. Uh, so from here on out, you're going to see these videos drop on Sunday and again on Thursday. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.